captain of the Minnesota North Stars uh, passes away because of a head injury. It's usually in a fight like this, the guy that reaches first is the guy that takes the first punch. It was absolutely atrocious, but you know what? The Americans had our flag on their floor in the dressing room, and now I want to know if they want us to sign it. He's coming out. He's got it. We do not know what happened to Anthony Stolarz, but 28-year-old Thomas Hodges. Hey, hockey fans. Let's take a break from the ice and check out some amazing NHL players who've defied the odds. At every level I played at, uh, you know, my size has been, you know, a big factor, but I've overcame it at every level, and, you know, I just got one more level to, uh, to conquer. These guys faced tough challenges, but still made their mark in hockey history. Get ready to be inspired by their stories. First up, we have a story that will redefine what it means to be a hockey player. Imagine this. The year is 1997, and a young boy named Eric Lamarck dreams of becoming a hockey star. However, a tragic accident at the age of 11 left Eric paralyzed from the waist down. The doctors tell him a future on the ice is impossible, but Eric, fueled by an unwavering passion for the game, refused to give up. He discovered sled hockey, a version of the sport played using specially designed sleds. With incredible determination, Eric honed his skills, mastering the art of controlling the sled with his upper body and a hockey stick. Eric practiced tirelessly, eventually earning a spot on the U.S. national sled hockey team. Eric's journey from a hospital bed to the national team stage is a testament to the power of perseverance. He became a beacon of hope for athletes with disabilities, proving that dedication and a love for the game can overcome any obstacle. Next, let's shift gears and travel back to the early days of the NHL. And the final goal that clinches victory for the New York Rangers. But Jedwa was accused of getting rough when he bumped Boy, starting a fuse that raged throughout the game. A time when goaltending equipment was minimal and the position was notoriously dangerous. Enter Clint Benedict, a man who revolutionized the way goalies played the game. In 1910, at just 18 years old, Clint wore a makeshift mask made from a catcher's mitt and chest protector. This basic equipment may seem silly today, but back then, it was a groundbreaking innovation. Clint's mask not only protected him from flying pucks, but also boosted his confidence, allowing him to play with a more aggressive style. Clint's success with his protective gear paved the way for the development of more advanced goalie masks, ultimately transforming the position into the crucial role it is today. In the corner, the Leafs close in fast, but Rangers shot it down as called back. He may not be a household name, but Clint Benedict's impact on the game is undeniable. From Zamboni driver to all-star goalie, Darcy Wakaluk. They'll get all that adrenaline flowing and everything, and uh, it's, it's tough to sit through a 60-minute hockey game watching it when you know you, there's nothing you can do about it. Imagine this. You're working as a Zamboni driver at a local rink, smoothing the ice for other players. Suddenly, an opportunity arises, and you find yourself thrust into the NHL net, facing some of the world's best hockey players. Corkum steers with the points, that's kept in. Lamons with a shot, Walk along, uh, blocks it away, the loose puck carried to the sideboards by Shepard. It sounds like a scene from a movie, right? Well, that's exactly what happened to Darcy Walk a Look. In 1996, the Calgary Flames were facing a goalie shortage due to injuries. With their options dwindling, they turned to their own Zamboni driver, Darcy Wakaluk, a former minor league goalie who hadn't played professionally in years. Lexalo, he's robbed by Wakaluk. Great save by Wakaluk. According to Sportsnet, despite the long layoff, Wakaluk stepped up to the challenge. He played admirably, making some key saves and helping the Flames secure a victory. Comes to the other side, chase on shot, score! While Wakaluk's NHL career was brief, his story is a reminder that sometimes, opportunity can strike in unexpected ways. It also highlights the dedication of players who continue to hone their skills, even outside the spotlight. The enforcer with a heart of gold, Georges Larac. I had a lot as a kid and stuff, and, and I had to stick up for myself all the time. I remember fighting all the time. Bogart is ready, Larac gets the left in, and Bogart is down! Now, Let's meet a player known for his toughness, Georges Larocque. Standing at 6-6 six six and weighing over 250 pounds, Larocque was an intimidating presence on the ice. He was an enforcer, a player whose role was to protect his teammates and prevent opponents from dirty play. But Georges Larocque's story goes beyond his physical stature. Off the ice, Larocque was known for his big heart, 
and his commitment to giving back to the community. He actively participated in charities and used his platform to raise awareness for important causes. According to the NHL website, Laraki even founded his own foundation to help underprivileged children. Georges Laraque's story reminds us that hockey players are more than just athletes. They can be role models, using their influence to make a positive impact on the world. The undrafted superstar, Theo Fleury. Size has been, you know, a big factor, but I've overcame it at every level. And the NHL draft is a major event where teams select the best young talent. But sometimes, a player gets overlooked. Theo Fleury shocked the world by becoming a superstar, despite going undrafted in 1988. According to the Calgary Flames, scouts questioned his small stature, 5'6". However, Theo possessed incredible speed, quickness, and a scoring touch that couldn't be ignored. He carved out a successful career, racking up over 1,000 points and becoming a fan favorite for his electrifying play. Theo Fleury's story is a reminder that size doesn't define talent. It proves that determination and skill can overcome even the biggest setbacks. The minister who became a hockey star, Bill Masterton. Hockey is known for its toughness, but players also come from diverse backgrounds. Bill Masterton's story truly goes beyond expectations. Bill wasn't just a hockey player, he was also a minister. After graduating from seminary, he pursued his hockey dreams, eventually playing for the Minnesota North Stars. According to the Hockey Hall of Fame, Bill tragically passed away following an on-ice injury in 1968. One of the Minnesota North Stars uh, passes away because of a head injury. In his honor, the NHL established the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy, awarded annually to the player who best exemplifies perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey. Bill Masterton's story reminds us that hockey can bring together people from all walks of life. The woman who played with the men, Haley Wickenheiser. He's also competed with men's teams playing more than 60 games in Europe. Score! The NHL is traditionally a male-dominated league. However, Haley Wickenheiser shattered barriers by becoming one of the first women to play professional men's hockey. From a young age, Haley excelled at hockey, playing alongside boys in minor leagues. Her talent was undeniable, and she even won multiple gold medals with the Canadian women's national team. According to the Canadian Olympic Committee, Haley's dream was to play in the NHL, and she came close, participating in several exhibition games with men's teams. Haley Wickenheiser's story is a testament to breaking down barriers and pursuing your dreams, no matter the obstacles. These incredible individuals have defied expectations in the NHL. From overcoming physical limitations to pioneering new equipment, these stories showcase the true spirit of hockey, a sport that celebrates resilience, innovation, and the unwavering pursuit of a dream. Do you have a favorite player who defied expectations? Share their story in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome hockey content. We'll see you on the next one.